Hello, I'm Keith Frost, the Director of Engineering here at Arkiva. Arkiva operate the master Billsdale, and in this video, and one to follow, I want to explain what we're doing in order to restore the services to our viewers and listeners that, that are out there. We are working round the clock in order to restore these services. And I would add, we understand how important these services are. Our engineers do, and our management do. They provide a vital lifeline to, to people, helping with well-being, keeping people entertained, as well as pe keeping people informed. We also understand the importance for our disadvantaged communities and also those that are vulnerable. And therefore, it's really, really important we get that to ensure that we restore these services as quickly as possible. Now, I can't speculate on the cause of the fire um, because that's subject to an investigation. But what I can say is the fire caused a significant amount of damage to both our mast, the buildings that support our technical equipment and that technical equipment on the site. So it is a major re-engineering exercise that we need to do to restore the services back to where they originally were. Now, before we get into that, what I want to do is to explain now how we go about getting signals to, to your home. And I've got a diagram to help me do that. So looking at the diagram here, you can see that we use height and power to get signal to your house. The main mast you could picture on the left hand side. For Billsdale, the site is the highest natural feature dominating the area around North York Moors. Its base is 300 metres above sea level and it is 690 metres to the top of the mast. We are reliant on line of sight for TV and radio signals to the areas of coverage which extend north towards Teesside and beyond, to the coast, to parts of County Durham and right across North Yorkshire to the south, east and west towards the Dales. So it's a huge area with varied topography. Due to the natural terrain, as shown in the example, which rises and falls, it is not possible to provide TV signals to all areas as the hills get in the way. And we use a number of infill sites called relays to maximise the coverage. You can be close to the tower, but the signal could go straight over the top of your property. So that's another consideration, which is why height is really, really important. The alignment of your aerial, any physical barriers between it and the mast, along with the number of splits of the cable to different TVs in your home is another factor we have to overcome. Therefore, we use stronger signal power to overcome this for you. Your current home aerial pointing direction is a key issue when planning locations for transmission equipment, as it is a significant disruption for people to repoint them. So therefore we have to choose appropriate sites to deploy disaster recovery equipment appropriately. Access to radio waves is heavily regulated, so their use needs to be carefully assessed to avoid interference between users. I would like to talk to you about what we've done in response to the fire that occurred on the 10th of August. The response took two parts. The first was around deploying temporary structures and also making use of existing structures by deploying transmission equipment to get signals to those areas affected. We also had to restore the signals to the relays which were reliant on the Billsdale mast as per the diagram I showed earlier, for their program feeds. We did this by identifying key areas where we could deploy our disaster recovery pump-up masks, uh, for example at Eston Nab and Arncliffe, but also where we could reuse existing structures that would give us more height. An example of this is what we've done at Sutton Bank. The aim of these deployments is to provide services to as many people as quickly as possible. So what can we expect next? We need to improve the height and the power of the signals that we provide. And the best place to do this in the area is close to the existing mast at Billsdale. There have been particular challenges with getting onto site at Billsdale due to the area being designated as a site of special scientific interest. In order to protect the environment, Arkiva have had to pull together detailed plans to ensure that we're able to make good after we've completed the build of the mast and also after we restore the site to its original state. This has meant that we've had to work closely with not just the landowner, but also the park authority as the local planning and Natural England to come up with schemes 
that, that are most appropriate to enable this. As a result, the 80 meter lightweight structure that we will be deploying, and we're on site now doing that, is being moved into position using a helicopter, and we will have to do this in sections. The mast itself is supported by concrete blocks, and we've got over 200 of those at circa 750 kilograms each to move up to the top of the moor. We also need to move the mast and the relevant equipment to be able to support the services. We recognise that due to the lower height of the temporary structure, we will not serve all of the areas that the original Billsdale mast was serving. We're working on engineering solutions that provide a service in those not spot areas in order to maximise the return of services to as many people as possible. This is a complex activity. We can't just stick up a mast anywhere to provide those services. It has to be selected based on a suitable location without the need for people to repoint their iron reels on their homes, but also in a way that the radio frequencies from those sites do not interfere with the signals from the other sites that we have in the area. So we're working round the clock to build this temporary mast at the Billsdale site in order to restore services to as many people as possible. In the next video, I'll talk a bit more about progress with the site build and also some of the other things that we're doing to try and recover service to as many people as possible. I thank you for taking the time to watch this update and look forward to speaking to you again soon.